Hello, my beautiful Virgos. How are you today? Let's get started with your reading. Okay, Virgo, let's look and see. We have the Ace of Wands as clarified by the Ace of Swords. So the truth is you have great clarity uh, in knowing, you and your partner both know, this is your mutual energy, that you would both like to have a new beginning. You have great clarity, truth be told. So, Virgo, what happened here? The Tower card has come down. Right now, the two of you do not seem to be speaking. The High Priestess is silent. You're both, I think you're communicating telepathically. That's what this says to me. When we look at the Lightning Bolt, you, had, you didn't have a foundation on this relationship. And circumstances, some, some, something happened, something was said, there was an argument maybe in which you didn't really discuss something, but both of you have a very clear-cut idea about what's going on, but you're not speaking with each other. We're going to clarify that more as we go along, but I want to cover the basics first. So Virgo, your person sees the relationship that you had as very successful. We have the card that shows that your person views whatever home life you have together, if you have one, they, they view it as successful. They view it as a very, uh, you know, it just is very successful time to start a new you know, a new part of your life, a new really closing this cycle and starting a new successful cycle. This is a marriage card, though. That is a card of the bride and groom dancing under the garland. It's a honeymoon card. So your person sees your relationship as moving, leveling up, and they see it as very successful. When we look at this energy, we're looking at the Libra Queen. So your person views you as someone who is very much aloof, studying the situation, trying to find balance. They don't see you really feeling, um, you're not really showing them a lot of love or anything really. It looks as though you're trying to figure something out, very Virgo -in of you but they do not, there doesn't seem to be any conversation going on. When we look at how your person feels in their heart space, they feel really hurt. The Five of Cups is your person feels like this relationship is over. They feel like it's just time to pack it in. They feel a sense of betrayal. They feel as though you, you might even owe them an apology. But right now, they have turned their back on their emotions. They're trying to stay balanced. They're trying to stay enlightened. Virgo, here you are in your reading. You want to throw caution to the winds. And that's exactly what your partner is counting on. They feel as though, you know, you definitely want this. They want it. They're counting on you to come forward, Virgo. And you're moving pretty slowly. You're not even on the horse. What's hidden here is a very strong feeling of boredom, dissatisfaction, and it has to do with a marriage or a commitment. So for some of you, it appears, Virgo, that one of you in this relationship may be juggling one of you may be married. That won't be true of everybody, but a decision has to be made, really. There's a fork in the road for this relationship to gain instability, which it has none right now. Um, you, you know, you would have to make a decision. And that's the two of wands. The two of coins is juggling. And so when we get the queen of wands, she can be, quote unquote, the other woman, but, and I'm seeing two women in the, in the reading here, but again, it's two feminine energies. It's two people who behave differently. So it looks like there's a decision, Virgo, for you to make, definitely, 
between two different two people who are very different your person virgo and you are being advised to be careful to you know look at the don't run any red lights take caution where advised but spirit is recommending that you leave a relationship in which you felt stabbed in the back we have the ten of swords energy so it does mean that somehow either the person who was juggling the person who was being juggled the person this person was married to however that falls out however the betrayal falls is something that needs to be dealt with this time so in terms of virgo how your person feels about you let's look and see well let's look first of all at this tower card what brought the tower card it's the immediate energy right now the two of you are not speaking to each other the foundation is gone Ooh, here comes a message you are going to get a huge message a very detailed message in the near future the letter card is all about important information or messages coming your way so why do we have something closing out this could be the end of a marriage also ah your person is studying this the fox okay so when we get the fox energy your person virgo is being you know they're being foxy they're studying the situation with you they're trying to figure out something okay so let's look at 14 fox energy and what it means i wouldn't want to tell you anything wrong so if you forgive a fox for stealing your chickens he will steal your sheep the fox card depicts a conniving creature nuzzling a beautiful woman posing as a part of a, a a part or a plaything. The sly fox is a false friend who has tricked this woman into trusting him and letting him close. This card indicates that someone you think you know may be manipulating you or using you to further his or her own agenda. This card may refer to a personal situation uh, or deception and duplicity at work. The appearance of the fox is a warning that you keep your eyes open. Do not allow yourself to be charmed or taken in by an attractive con artist. This card also may refer to fraudulent financial schemes. So you can avoid falling into the fox's trap by, by remaining vigilant and responsible. So it does show that your person is manipulative. They're studying the situation in terms of, and we can see it here. Look at this. I mean, we have... We have the book, which is study. We have the book, which is study. Virgo, your person could feel that you're doing this to them also. That's very much. And you might be doing it to each other. But let's see. Is this a mutual deception type thing? No. It looks like the masculine energy in the situation is the one who's studying the situation and the masculine energy is coming in as the fox so okay so let's see why we have your person feels as though you're playing judge judy and or you're making a decision the fish again wow i had this in the leo reading the fish says that there's too much of something going on here the fish energy is very much an abundant energy, but it also can indicate some jealousy, some wastefulness. So let's see what it says about the fish energy here. We have 34. Fish energy. Not what we have, but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance. Okay, so basically what I'm seeing here is that you may work with this person. It's possible, although because of the, because Virgo, here's your energy. You may work with this person. 
So what we're seeing here is sort of a balancing of the scales. I like this energy, though. It does show that your person wants everything to be fair and balanced. It does show that whoever the masculine is here probably does owe you an apology. Or if you're the masculine, you owe a feminine the apology. Because now we have the lady here. So we, it looks as though the re role reversal. I might be talking to male Virgos. But I could be talking to you. You may both have Virgo in your chart. And that's what I think this is. I think both of you have Virgo energy somehow. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Why is the card of throwing caution to the wind here? Loyalty was reversed. It came out reversed. All right. Why is Spirit recommending that a decision be made so that juggling can be stopped? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? To have a happy home, to have a happy life, a decision has to be made. And if somebody is a fox, it, spirit is saying they will stab you in the back. So you need to make sure that you keep a happy home life, you keep a stable life. But if you're the person who's doing this, what I'm also getting, and I don't think you are, but if you are, I have to play devil's advocate because the cards are saying that that could be the case. The masculine energy here is the deceptive energy. So what it does tell us, though, is that a happy home life is at stake here. Your happy home life or theirs. But Spirit is saying... Pay attention to the warning signs and walk away if you feel as though this person stabs you in the back. And let's see, let's see if they do that. We're going to get one Lenormand and we're going to pull another Tarot. Oh, wow, the coffin card. Well, we don't need to pull a Tarot. Uh, basically, Spirit is saying walk away from the situation that this is not going to happen. We'll get Tower and Death together. It just looks as though, it just looks as though Virgo, there may not be any, there may not be any solution to this, at least for the time being. You know, again, energy exchanges can change with time. Let's see, what do we have here in the Tarot? What's the outcome? Show us more about the outcome. Releasing, there we go, Judgment card. Wow. Okay. So somebody, let's see what we have about the deception though. This is troubling me. As you can tell, it's troubling me. This person has remorse and regret over the way they have treated you. Is there anything this person will do about that? They didn't treat you fairly and they know it. What will they do in the future spirit? Unfortunately, the fox says that they'll steal your sheep. So what will what will this person do in the future? They want to see you. They want the reunion with you. They feel really sad without you. They feel depressed without you. So interesting energy. If it's not your reading, please look at the... Playlist at the end of the video and look at the other videos for your moon rising and Venus signs. Send me a love from Chicago. Send some back. Enter the contest for a personal reading. Namaste. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.